97 fuel east of Playtown. Oh my god, look at that horizontal vortices on the left side. Hey. Satellite going around, guys. This thing has satellite. Hey, we, hey, we. Turn the car around, Joel. The largest tornado outbreak in U.S. history occurred April 25th through 28th, 2011, when 336 confirmed tornadoes, including at least four EF5 tornadoes, caused over 300 deaths and millions of dollars in property damage. Amateur radio operators responded by manning their radios while the tornadoes were still on the ground and later by deploying to the hardest hit areas to help provide communication support to those responding to the disaster. Greetings. This video was created to help establish operating norms for members of the Shelby County, Alabama Amateur Radio Emergency Service, or ARIES, during an active ARIES net. Following the tornado outbreak of April 2011 in our state, leaders from ARIES and the Shelby County Amateur Radio Club identified several areas for improvement in net operation. By following the guidelines set forth in this video, we believe that our emergency nets, both weather and non-weather related, will run more smoothly and efficiently. Net participants should know that weather nets can be placed in standby or active status by a qualified net control station or NCS. This implies that the NCS must be aware of the weather situation in the area. He or she must be prepared to run the net until relieved by another qualified net control station or the weather situation is passed. A net should be placed in standby status when a severe weather warning has been issued in an adjoining county and is likely to impact Shelby County or a severe weather watch has been activated in Shelby County. If an NCS announces that a net is in standby status, you may continue to use the repeater. But please pause for a few seconds before replying to another ham. Let the carrier drop on the repeater, listen to see if the NCS has anything to say, and then give your reply. A net should be placed in active status when a severe weather warning has been issued for Shelby County or severe weather has been reported in Shelby County. Severe weather is defined as winds 58 miles per hour or greater, hail the size of a quarter or larger, flooding, funnel clouds, or tornadoes on the ground. Net control stations should maintain good discipline both for themselves and among the net participants during an active net. Remember, it's active for a reason. Participants in the net keying their mics to report non-essential information could prevent emergency or priority traffic from being passed. Let's listen to what happened to one ham during an active net with a tornado on the ground. Uh, I turned in here at the church, and whenever I turned in, I realized that the I was looking directly at the tornado. The tornado was so big till it was on both sides of the church, even though it was five, six, seven hundred yards behind the church. And seeing the direction that it was going to, I realized that the people in Pleasant Grove and in that area was in immediate danger. So realizing I had emergency traffic, I grabbed the microphone and decided to, to throw the traffic out there, pass the traffic on to where it could wind up helping people. This is K4YHP, and all I heard was, Hey, Net Control, are y'all there? This here is WA4XRK. I'm just wondering if anybody's monitoring this here weather today. It's kind of cloudy over this way. This is K4YHP with emergency traffic. This is WA4X. CG trying to get into the net. I'd like to report some uh, what sounds like uh, BB size hail on my roof. This is KF4. Well, where are you at, man? Because I got some of that BB size hail here, too. And, and it's raining. This is KF4 HP with emergency traffic. Oh, wasn't that control? Oh, hold on. This WA4 XRK. I got a phone call. Hello. Uh, and I got real aggravated. Uh, real quick because I could not pass emergency traffic. There are only three reasons to key your mic when the net is in active status. To report severe weather as previously described, to report other emergency or priority traffic, or to check in or out of the net if the NCS calls for it. We'd like to remind everyone that you should not endanger yourself by chasing severe weather. 
NCSs, if you know of someone operating mobile in, in an area of severe weather, keep tabs on them. In the example we just showed you, had the NCS done this, vital information could have been passed in time for people to seek shelter. Links to net scripts and other documents used by Shelby County Aries during severe weather and other emergency nets may be found at www.sc-aries.org under the Scripts and Documents menu. Net control stations should follow these scripts when running nets for Shelby County Aries. This is the first of several videos that are planned to train net control stations and net participants in net operation in the event of severe weather or other emergencies. Watch for our next video. 7-3 from Shelby County Aries and the Shelby County Amateur Radio Club. This is KI4YZI Clear.